everyone, what's going on? I'm Wendy and welcome back to The Bomb Show. We're here for another Hot Toys Force Awakens Elite Showcase. Introducing the Hot Toys Movie Masterpiece Series Star Wars First Order Snow Trooper and Snow Trooper Officer Set. So the package is a black on gray shoebox style featuring great product photography, manufacturing info, and Star Wars logos. The logo on the front is metallic. We still like the fact that the Force Awakens is not specified, and the box matches the Hot Toys ongoing Star Wars line of figures. Inside, we get a view into the multiple layers of clamshell housing the troopers and their many accessories. Now let's get these guys out. On display, these guys look great. We loved our original trilogy troopers, we loved our clone troopers, and the First Order troopers are some of our favorites. And these First Order snow troopers in particular are certainly near the top of the heap. As part of this two pack, you get the standard First Order Stormtrooper as well as the First Order Snowtrooper Officer, distinguished by his deep red shoulder pauldron. So there's no mistaking the chain of command. Both of these guys' costumes are identical and the combination of fabric and armor parts works very well and remain very reminiscent of the original trilogy Imperial Snowtroopers. We still get the elongated helmets and coattails and of course the all-white deco to conveniently guise the troopers in frozen and snowy environments. Now let's see what's under the hood. <laughs> Underneath it all, we have an all-black slim Hot Toys True Type body featuring over 36 points of articulation, including a triple ball jointed neck, a double ball jointed multi-segmented core, universal rolling shoulders, double jointed knees and elbows, swiveling thighs and biceps, and universal hips and wrists. Easily one of the best base bodies out there, capable of superb dynamic articulation and endless display possibilities. Now remember, disassembling these figures is not recommended by Hot Toys and they explicitly warn against disrobing this set. Before all the garments and armor, Hot Toys applied white foam tape padding on various areas throughout the body, which was not easy to remove. Hot Toys appears to be trying to add anatomical bulk, but it makes us wonder why didn't they just use the normal true type as opposed to the slim? But the costume starts with an all-white jumpsuit, which is covered in detailed stitching and patterns. The coverall extends from ankles to shoulders and has Velcro fastener up the back. Down at the bottom, we have the Snow Troopers all-white shoes, which feature a tight sculpt with the First Order Storm Troopers. There was an extra articulation point at the toe of the shoe, but these guys' shoes seem solid, so Hot Toys must have abandoned that feature. And we didn't think it worked very well on the the stormtroopers anyway. Next up we have the boot sleeves and shin armor. Here we were disappointed to see that Hot Toys went with an all sculpted design as opposed to authentic straps and buckles. The one piece plastic sculpted design with painted black straps honestly seems a bit subpar for Hot Toys. Above that we have the all white knee pads which feature sculpted armor plates up front and functional elastic straps around the back. Around the middle, we have the First Order Snow Troopers Cod Armor, which features a sculpted plastic plate up front and functional elastic waistband. On top of that, we have the all-white long vest, which features a sleeveless split rear design and additional stitch detail down the sides. Back around the center, we have the black and white utility belt, which features non-functioning pouches and buckle up front and a black rubberized waistband. Following that, we have the left and right armored gloves and gauntlets, which feature mechanical details and one-piece slip-on design. These gauntlets appear to be the same as the ones worn by the First Order Stormtroopers. Above that, we have the all-white four-piece upper body and shoulder armor, which feature elastic shoulder connection points and separate front and rear halves. We also get some neat mechanical detail on the chest, but be warned, this armor wasn't that difficult to get off, but reconnecting this armor was an unbelievable pain in the ass. <laughs> I never recommend taking it off. It was that difficult to get back on. 
Next up, we get the super awesome First Order Snow Trooper helmet, which features multiple components. We have an extended helmet at the rear, a faceplate, separate visor slits, and what appear to be metallic respirators. We must say we really like the direction these guys went with for the evolution of the armored troopers. This helmet is very good looking in our opinion. Around back, we have the First Order Snow Trooper backpack, which is very reminiscent of the original trilogy Snow Trooper backpack, featuring a taper design around the cylindrical lower half. Of course, we still get the cool mechanical details and a slide lock connection point on the back of the Snow Trooper's armor. The Snow Trooper officer also sports a black and red shoulder pauldron, which was also unfortunately glued to the armor, but we do like the design and look. As far as accessories go, we get 12 additional posed hands for a total of 16 separate hand options from balled up fists to relaxed palms to weapons ready positions in both left and right options. More than plenty to keep us busy posing and displaying these boys. We also get an additional pair of wrist pegs for each figure for a total of 8 pegs. Next up, we get a pair of black hexagonal lower support stands adorning the First Order insignia. And finally, we get blasters, awesome black and white First Order deco blasters. First off, we get a pair of F-11D blaster rifles, which feature amazing sculpt and paint apps down to the micro silver rivets and housing detail. Next up, we get a pair of what appears to be oversized F-11D blaster rifles with telescoping shoulder stocks. And finally, we get the First Order binoculars, which feature super tight detail and paint applications with two points of articulation for a fold up and carry feature. <laughs> Obviously, we really love these guys, along with all the Star Wars armored figures to date. We must admit we're not crazy about costumes being glued down and we feel that Hot Toys definitely cut some corners with the sculpted and painted boot sleeves. At this price point, we feel Hot Toys should have included real straps and buckles like they do with most of their figures. But considering some of the more recent catastrophes in the six scale world, this isn't too bad. We still very much recommend this set to six scale or Force Awakens collectors with confidence. Until next time, peace and love.